Welcome to this week's exciting episode of Talking Beards, the podcast. My name is Scott Sakura, and I'm glad that you joined us today. On today's episode, we have a really heartfelt discussion about what's been going on in my life and what's been going on in Aaron's life. We have an update on Natalie, we do some beard beefs, and we just test out a whole bunch of different news segments that we're going to be trying out on the show. We've been asking for feedback from our listeners lately. Uh, talkingbeards1 at gmail.com. If you're interested in sending us some feedback, we would love to hear what you guys are thinking about the show. We have a ton of things we'd like to do, but whether or not you guys really want them is another thing. So make sure you go over to talkingbeards.com to find out more about the show and to subscribe to the podcast. But first, go listen to this episode right now. Welcome to the Talking Beards Podcast an entertainment news show all about the world of facial hair. You can catch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by going to TalkingBeards.com. While you're at the website, you can check out all the other cool things that we do. We cover the latest news going on in the beard and mustache world from competitions, contests, fundraisers, and all the charity work. We also have special guests each week talking about what they're doing to make a difference in the facial hair world. We also do trivia each week with really great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. at TalkingBeards.com. Now let's get on with the show. We're back. I don't. I still don't know what an adverb is. Don't. Right, Scott says right here. He, he goes a verb that tries to sell stuff. A verb that sells stuff. Everybody knows that. Like uh, when you go on TV, it's like, "I buy me, buy me." That's adverbs. Ads. Yes. Oh, I get it now. Okay, my bad. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? In talking beards world, this is episode number one hundred and seventeen. Uh, I did an episode by myself that I didn't think was going to be an episode, but we counted it. So we're on 117 now. Uh, podcast episode number 192, because my episode that I didn't think was an episode turned into a podcast. Uh, everybody said that it was probably the best podcast we've ever released ever. So that's pretty good. Uh, I am Aaron D. Johnston. Uh, tonight, we don't have a guest, but uh, we have Aaron and Scott, so that's way better than having any guests. Like, even like way better than having a Matt McClear because pff, you know he's just a news guy, but he's gonna have a new news segment tonight. New news segment tonight, he's gonna talk about poop, so that's super exciting. But we don't have a new intro for that, so we'll probably just use the old one. Oh, crap, talking poop, talking poop. Because everybody McClure. loves talking about poop. And, you know, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, tonight, we have a host of segments. We're going to do uh, Poop News with Matt. We're going to do talk about a little bit of YouTube information news. Uh, update of Natalie. What, what else is going on? Aaron and Scott. What's going on with those guys? In we'll the see news. What they've been Aaron and Scott in the news. There it is. Uh, some beard beef. And... Uh, Maybe we'll have time for beard mail. Who knows? This is going to be an action-packed episode. We've got lots of stuff going on. Uh, we're going to get started. Like I said, I'm Aaron D. Johnston. And go ahead. Look at Sarah Connor Simonic is here. Oh, hey. Oh, my gosh. Connor Simonic? Can Dude, we've made it. Uh, anyways, I'm Scott Sakura. Uh, go over to uh, TalkingBeards.com. There you can watch the show live right now. Or if you want to interact with us, you can go watch us over live on YouTube. Uh, you can also watch us live on Facebook over on the Talking Beards page. You can also watch us live on the Beard Team USA page, the uh, Honest Amish page, and uh, Beard Mob. Yeah, we're on the mob and our Twitch page. Don't forget about that. We had one person watch us there a couple weeks ago, so that's pretty pretty cool. Dogecoin's uh, in the news. Oh, yeah. To the moon, baby. Let's see. what We can do a Dogecoin update. No, we can't. We can. We're about to, because I want to know now. But, uh, yeah, so we'll just get this started like we usually do. Um, we were going to kick it to the curb, but everybody loves it. So, share this episode. Gosh, look at that. Look how good we look. I look like Han Solo with Cher being the Princess Leia. 
Han Solo burger. Look at you, C three P Aaron O. Gosh, I look good. This is this is the best one we've ever had. I think. God, Doge is like at fifty five cents. My gosh, it's gonna break a dollar. It's My, going to the moon, Scott. I know it is. But yeah. So anyway, share this episode, everybody, and then everybody can see us. I don't know. Now what? You you were just ready to get started with Matt? Still waiting for an adverb. Oh crap. Uh I thought we were done with that. This is not going to work out very well. I don't know if you know this about me, but I didn't do very good in school. Okay, then we'll have Hold on. The Ag- chat. aggressively. Okay. Okay, now you can do what you got to do. <sighs> I was tough. I know it was. I can smell <laughs> your brain burning from all the way over here. <sighs> Boy, were we anyway? So, yeah, so this is let's get going. Sir, I didn't mean to cut you off. My bad, <laughs> you're muted. Oh, it's the, it's the poop, poop, news. talking beards, the poop news with Matt McClear because he loves talking about poop. And it was really great that you brought him in. I oh, did. Hey. Ooh, hey, man. That was the crappiest intro that I've ever seen. And the, yeah. the timing was absolutely um, crappy as well. What's I up, know, guys? I, I missed I you guys. Pretty good. What's up, Matt McClear? How are you doing? It's good. It's good to be down here with uh, with you guys. And uh, hey, Matt. yeah. Matt, good to give have me you a, an adjective. Um, shittily. That's an adverb. Yeah. Duh, Pretty everybody sure. knows that. Pretty sure. Uh, if not, uh, Nick H., you can Google it. Um, yeah, I have some poop news. And, uh, oh, look at that. Eric's coming in with the with the Google game. Eric J. Schmidt Madsen. Do you, is he related to Andrew? It's Andrew's I think great so. uncle. Andrew should, and, I think Andrew should you know, change his spelling of his last name to that. I want that guy that, to be my great uncle. Look at that's, that. That's Santa Claus. Right? A word or phrase that modifies or qualifies an adjective. Oh, where'd it go? Uh, Verb or other adverb or a word group expressing a relation of place, time, circumstances, manner, cause, degree, etc. I think... I think he's a school teacher. And and Alfred's great-grandson states the same thing. They must be right. What's going on, Matt McClure? How are you doing? We haven't seen you in like 32 weeks. It's been, yeah, it's been a lot of the weeks. Happy uh, May the 4th. May the guys. 4th be with you. Yeah, Matt and McClure. Scott, Scott's got do, the... Do you know uh, you do this? This? Isn't that for May the 4th? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Nanu, nanu. Same thing, yeah. And and Scott's prepared with the stormtrooper in the back, so um, well His done. His chair's but- a stormtrooper. Turn around, Scott. Look at do this. It. How amazing is that? Wow. I know. It's my Star Wars captain chair. Just when you think he couldn't get any cooler, he goes and does something like that. Wow, don't don't take it too far, Matt. You you went well, too far. I'm feeling generous. Um, all right, we got some poop news. You guys want to hear it? Boy, do we. All right. So scientists now know why wombat poop comes out in cubes. I don't know if anybody else has ever wondered this, but it's something that I've stayed up way too late thinking about. So nobody has to uh, do this anymore. Wombats, which are native to Australia. Shout out all the viewers in Australia. They're known across the globe for their cuteness and their unique poop. Kind of like Aaron, which comes out in cubes. The geometric fecal phenomenon, say that five times fast, has been a uh, kind of a mystery until now. A team of scientists finally cracked the science behind the wombat poop and published their findings in the uh, Soft Matter Journal last month. And this is an article by Huffed. Post, Huff Post. There's no T in there. HuffPost.com. So thank you guys. According to the paper called Intestines of Non Uniform Stiffness Mold, the Corners of Wombat Feces. That's a long name. I don't, I don't know how they came up with it. But researchers from the Georgia Institute of Technology, the University of Tasmania, and the Taranga, I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. I said that wrong, mm-hmm. Conservation Society dissected dead wombats that had died after being hit by vehicles and noticed that the guts of the creatures contain layers of muscles, tissues with two stiff areas 
and two more flexible ones. So after creating a mathematical model to emulate how their gut might expand and contract during food digestion, the researchers determined that after feces are dried out in the extremely long wombat colon, which is roughly 10 meters, which is for anybody that doesn't do math, that's 33 feet in length. That's a long colon, I'd imagine. So the stiff and flexible regions, they then contract in tandem that sculpt the poop into its unique shape. So the only remaining mystery is why wombats evolved to defecate cubic droppings in the first place, right? So the authors of the paper speculated that the animals perhaps needed square-shaped poop for the purpose of latrine stability. In other words, wombats evolved to climb on rocks and logs to mark territory and needed a unique form of fecal matter that wouldn't easily slide onto the ground. So hmm. please do not mistake these for any types of sugar cubes to put in your coffee as it could make one of the crappiest cups that you would ever have. Don't use wombat poop for sugar cubes. Yeah. But, On uh, this yeah, episode of Talking Beards. Yes. So that's um <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. The wombat poop cubes. And uh, that way they wouldn't fall off the uh, wouldn't fall off that. Remember that really hip band in the 80s called Wombat Vengeance? <laughs> yeah. you, really? Do you think they poop cubes too? Yeah. They had this one hit song called Poop and Cubes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it was the number one hit in Australia for a long time. Is this a real band? Yeah. We actually, we have, I have stickers. I, I could probably find them somewhere. I can't wait. I like stickers. Yeah. Good gosh. Who yeah, doesn't? so, um, yeah, that was it. I have another one, but if you guys, you guys have a jam-packed episode, if you want to move on. We, we are have jam-packed. To- so we don't, speak, you know what I mean? We can, we can save the next article if you want for next week's uh, poop, talking poop news. Look at that. We're already ready for next week. This, this yeah. thing is, is running so much better. Uh, I think, I think on? poop news should have a visual component to it too. So if you have an article, Matt, make sure you send it so we can uh, get some visuals up there too. Yeah, yeah, I did. And I totally forgot to send that. So pictures of next week's- wombat poop. Yeah, I thought this one, nobody really wanted to see wombat guts that were 33 foot long with a bunch yeah, of... Yeah, right. Poop. But, you know, maybe maybe they did want to. And, uh, you know, maybe it was... Yeah, yeah. Poop cube. Poop cube. What do you yeah. got going on TikTok Tuesday, Matt McClear? Uh, episode 31, just another uh, just another fun time. No one else? You guys want to see something else that's cool that's poop related? Or do you want to save it for next week? No, share it real quick. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. The Skidmark Terminator. What? The bro day skin marks end here. Well, let's just tease that for next week. Exactly. And then well, I'm going to have to work to get you guys one. So just remind me because we're going to okay. be talking about poop. We need, we need bro, you guys need the bro day. So that's the teaser for next week. But uh, yeah, episode 31 tonight. And we, uh, we have um, a new kind of guest to the show. That's going to pop on tonight and add to the craziness. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of controlled chaos. That's excellent. Go ahead. Scott writes, I am one with the fourth. The fourth is with me. Now, do you know what Star Wars movie that's from? The fourth. No. The Force Awakens. No. Cinco de Mayo. BB-8. Rogue One. You guys are dumb. I was, That was going to be my next next one. Rogue you One. Asked us, and then you only give us one guess? Yeah, gosh. I, already, I heard like nine come out of your mouth. Well, I only said. Baby Yoda. Couple. Yeah, it was Baby Yoda's. We nailed it. First we try. Did it. We did it. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's what I got. And then Thursday, we're interviewing Odom guy, Kate. Christopher C. Oh. Chris is smart. What's up, Chris Odom? He's uh, working on the backpacks right now. Ooh. Go ahead, Matt. Uh, Yeah. Thursday, we're going to interview Jake Polino. He's a TikTok guy, and he does all sorts of like art and painting and um, stuff with arts and paintings. And he's really talented and really cool. And we're going to talk to him. Does he do arts and paintings? Arts and paintings, and then like he reacts and he tries to guess what color paints from the paint machines, like before, and then he's really good at guessing it sometimes. Blue. I don't know. Tell yeah, me like, my they, guess. When they make it, you know what, like at, at some of the stores and they drop like all these colors and then it turns out a color that you would never think, I guess. Right. I don't really spend cool. a lot of time in a, in a paint store. Well, maybe you should. It sounds so. like a, an amazing time. And then you can have more TikTok videos by you know watching paint mix nah, i think i'm good with that i don't know uh-huh. but either way yeah and uh, i got a new job so i'm gonna be starting a new job at the end of this month or the next month where can, can you tell us about your new job or is it still uh, not company? yet but i will very soon it's pretty cool i'm super God. excited well good luck with your new job 
And uh, I'm sure your old job people are going to super miss you because, you know, if I worked with you, I would miss you. I think maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. All right. Well, well, you have a good night, Matt McClear. Thank Thank you you for our news story. And uh, yeah, you got anything else? Actually. All right. See, it's been a while. So I did it. Nick H is like, tell us. Tell us. Nick Gage, you're just going to have to stay tuned and maybe uh, next week or the week after that, he'll, Matt McClear will tell us all about his new job. What did I miss? Dave, you missed Wombat Poop. That was Square Wombat Poop. Wombat's Poop Cubes. All right. Uh, next up on our agenda for this evening. What's up, Scott? What, you want to talk about it? We were going to talk about YouTube and how uh, now – the Talking Beards Network has moved from Facebook all the way. We've moved everything from Facebook over to YouTube now. So if you guys want to check out all the shows on the Talking Beards Network, can you put that up, Aaron? There you go. <clears throat> so you can uh, check out all the shows on the Talking Beard Network. Mondays, we have the Craft Whisker Show. Tuesdays, we have Talking Beards, I think, right? Is that the yeah, show on Tuesday? I think we're on Tuesdays. Uh, what show is on Wednesdays? So we got What Up Mob Wednesday on uh, Wednesday and then Thursday. So we didn't get it working for last week because Matt and YouTube and all that wasn't really working. So hopefully this Thursday we have Matt on YouTube. Friday, still nothing. And then Saturday, we have Big Sexy Saturday Night. And then on Sunday, we have Art Assault. So we're just trying something different. Uh, I talked about it. We, you know, we even kind of sort of kicked around the idea of just getting rid of the network altogether. But we, you know, we've, you know, we became friends with all these shows and we didn't want to completely do that. Uh, We kind of felt like maybe we were overwhelming our Facebook page and the notifications and all that. So we're going to try this YouTube thing. And so if you are a fan of the show or a fan of any of the other shows, go ahead and Find Talking Beards YouTube and, you know, subscribe and notifications and all that good stuff over there. And and we're going to try to make it bigger and better. And we'll see. You know, we'll see what YouTube does. We we tried it at the very beginning of the the life of Talking Beards back when we had Mr. Chris Odom. And, uh, yeah, it didn't really work out. So we, we got 900 shows on our facebook page and now we're gonna be like let's just put 900 shows over on youtube and kind of see what happens if it fails and maybe in a few weeks we'll we'll regroup again who knows but we're you know trying something different and that's that's all you can really do this is the time for change right now we're in the process of there's going to be a lot of different things going on from here on out until we really find in fact we came up with like two ideas like literally right before we went live yeah, so one of the things we, me and Scott have talked about, we, uh, we're we going to change it up as far as our segments go. So I think that's going to be a, a hopefully a fun new addition. Uh, look at that Buffon's over on YouTube. What's up, Buffon? Uh, so we'll have different you know segments that maybe this episode will have a segment that it won't be this segment. So maybe next week we won't have Matt, or maybe the week after that Matt won't be here, but then he'll be back, and you know, so on and so forth. So we'll we'll come up with some new segments and we'll kind of plug them in as we go along. So if anybody has any ideas, we're always open to suggestions. Might and, not use them, but we're open to listen to them. And we are also open to feedback too, because we keep telling you guys to email us and there's been one person uh, email. So uh, email. One, one of the things that I noticed is maybe everyone doesn't want to email. I got a good bit of feedback over the last couple of weeks, probably more in the last two weeks than I have in the whole two years of doing the show. That's and I Aaron really Carter's appreciate younger it. brother, <laughs> but keep, keep giving us feedback, you know, tell us how much Scott is stupid or how much Scott isn't stupid. I'll, I'd like to listen to both ways. Um, but yeah, I, I've really enjoyed the, the feedback and I've been listening to everybody's, you know, comments and stuff like that. And we're, we're going to, we're going to keep trying to grow this thing. Uh, there's there's a lot of other beard shows out there and we're you know, we got to set ourselves apart somehow. And so that's what we're going to try to do. So that is our YouTube update. So everybody go find our YouTube page and like and subscribe and all that good stuff and we'll see if we can get the YouTube page app. Um but all the shows are going to be on their respective uh, Facebook page. 
So if if you're just you hate YouTube and you don't want to go over there, you can still find all all the shows that you love. All what we got six, um, all six of them. Uh, everybody just you know go over to the the craft page, their Facebook page, ours, the Mob, and all that good stuff, and Beard Laws, and you can still find the show. So they're still on Facebook. They're just not going to be on the Talking Beards Facebook. Worst suggestion is coming in by uh, John John Fabulier. I like how tall he looks in this picture. Like, look at him in the little picture down there. He looks really, really tall. It's probably the tallest he'll ever look. I know. And it's only this tall. Just imagine how tall he is in real life. Probably like half that. Anyway. Oh, Fawn. Oh, he's dead. Fawn (laughs) Holt says, I hate YouTube. It's hard to work for me at this age in my life. Yeah, Fawn's 62 years old, so she's really not good at uh, you know technology and stuff. She just figured out fa- the Facebook, she calls it. And, <laughs> hey, he's saluting me. Look at that. That's What up, mobs? <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, that's it. Uh, Going to grow the YouTube, and, and that's, that's the new home of the Talking Beards, the network. So let's talk about what's going on with Natalie. Yeah, let's yeah. get an I, update on Natalie. Look at, <laughs> <laughs> look at Natalie driving that train. Talking Beards, the Natalie update. She is on that train. So yeah, uh, as everyone knows, Natalie D. Johnson had surgery, what, two weeks ago? Coming up on two weeks. And she's she's been home for a while. She we only ended up staying in the hospital for about three days Um, and she's home. She's still on the couch because our bed is too high for her to climb into and bending and stuff like that. But she's she has good days and bad days. Uh, She's still hurting a lot, but she's, you know, like I said, one day she'll be a little bit better than the next. And one thing we've noticed is when she wakes up, she's hurting more. So I don't know if it's like a her body just laying there, not moving in the middle of the night, or if she's beating herself up it's, in the middle of the no, night. It's, just, or, it's stiff. It just, it's yeah. from the body just laying there. So, but she's she's still hurting. Um, her right kidney I, is is working pretty good, I guess. So that's that's pretty good. We we uh we didn't know exactly what it was going to be doing, but I guess it's doing kidney stuff because she's she's still here with us. So that's good. Um, but yeah, she's she's hurting. That's for sure. Uh, she's been getting lots of cool mail, and I, I know she really appreciates that. Jennifer Anderson, I think, sent us a package like every day. It's just been like the absolutely some of the most absurd stuff, and some of it's been really, really thoughtful. Like she sent us these wieners. Look at oh this. My. That is thoughtful. These, this was the most thoughtful thing. Natalie loved it, but I, I took it from her. I was like, give me that wiener. It's like, I don't want to forget what my wiener looks like. Yeah, this is it. It looks just like this. I know. But, <laughs> but yeah. What, I, don't, I don't even want to say anything about Corvettes. Go ahead, though. Wow. Go ahead. Uh, but yeah. So if anybody else wants to send Natalie some rubber wieners, you can hit us up and, you know, get get her address. And she's she's still essentially bed resting, even though she's on the couch. But luckily, we got a brand new couch right before her surgery. So it's it's really working out for. Her. Um, but yeah, she's just hanging out, man. She's eating rice and you know some noodles and easy stuff but she's and she's she's still just hanging out hopefully has she been been nauseated like she used to be not as bad um probably a couple times but nothing dudes like if anybody knows you know natalie's day-to-day it was before the surgery man it was it was rough for she uh, i just felt so bad like it was all day every day but not anymore, so that's good. Um, it's like a heavy metal vomit party watching Wombat Vengeance hit the stage. Basically, exactly. That was Natalie's life before the surgery, but it's it's not like that anymore, so that's that's good. Um, Fawn says our couch is comfy, so it's got the stamp of approval from Fawn Hall. And Chris Odom says that was not his train. Chris Odom drives trains. I don't know if y'all knew that. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, little update on Natalie. She's she's doing all right. She's still hurting though. She's got a long road ahead of her before she's 
back up and running and yelling at people and taking over people's competitions and all that good stuff. But she's she's doing all right. She's getting super frustrated with being on the couch. But, you know, that's to be expected. I'd be getting super frustrated, too. But she's she's doing good. Andrew's still here. And I don't know what the heck I'd be doing if he wasn't here because it's he's been absolutely a huge help. So but I think he's only got a few days left and then. Natalie's going to have to fend for herself while I'm, while I'm at work or Larry and Grogu are going to have to take care of her. I don't know, but she's hopefully she'll be all right to, you know, get back and forth to the bathroom and all that stuff. And I don't know next week. So next Monday will be Natalie's first day by herself. So hopefully she's feeling better by then, but that's it. That's a little update on Natalie and all that good stuff. And, you know, we'll, we'll touch base with her again next week and see how she's doing. So, what have you been up to, Scott Sakura? Well, 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 well. What haven't I been up to is the question. Um, you have not gone to the moon. I feel as if I've gone to the moon. Tell us about it. All right. Well, so as you know, I've been kind of MIA for the past few weeks. Um just been a lot of stuff going on in my life um a couple weeks ago uh my aunt had passed away uh unexpectedly during surgery um i know i was that was texting with you why it was going on and it was just hey dancy bearded's here the busiest man on youtube right there oh my gosh yeah he is um yeah so that was that was a little rough to go um Still, trying it was, to it was kind of unexpected, right? It was well. She was their surgery that she was having was very complicated, and it was going to be long, and it ended up getting longer and longer. And then they had complications, and then it just didn't end up good. So, but uh, just kind of glad she's not having to deal with the stuff that she was dealing with before. And yeah, you know, imagine not. But uh, in addition with that, you know, teenage angst from a fifteen-year-old boy decided he wanted to just like <clears throat> you know be a teenage boy like to the nth degree and just really 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 was making our lives very busy for the past few weeks and it's just been like that's been a whole different ball of wax and, freaking teenagers yeah yeah it's been tough i mean it's just you know they're hormonal and they're going up and down and of course, I'm hormonal right now because it's been kind of going through a lot of stuff and and so puberty that, and puberty. Yeah, yeah, both of you. Dan, Natalie's doing good. Oh, yeah. sorry, he was asking you. <laughs> I'm I'm Aaron. <laughs> yeah, she she's all doing all right, Dan. She's she's still hurting from her surgery, but she's she's definitely better now than she was uh, a few weeks ago. Um, let's see. On top of that, um had some other issues go on with my ex, which are good. Um, got closure on a lot of things in life, which is very good. It's been one of those things. It's been a long time waiting to happen and it finally did. So that's all good. Um, so, and it just been kind of, everything's just kind of put me down in like a weird gray area and stuff like that. So um, just been kind of struggling, just finish up. I got my bedroom done finally. Nice. Which is nice. So now so we're getting finally ready. moved out of the bathroom. Finally moved out of the bathroom. So now uh, uh, we'll be starting into another room here within the next week. So I can't stop, can't slow down. And then the weather's been nice. And it's just been another project, then another project, another project. And it's just work's getting busy. And then I'm just like, I, I'm just, uh, but yeah, that's exactly it. You're like, uh, yeah. That's that's a good that's a really a good describing word for you. Yeah. I just I've uh, been emotionally like all over the place, but thankfully everything's looking good and I have a, an excursion planned for the end of the month to go spend some time with a a very important person, so I'm that's going to be like my saving grace right there to like finally get me all like back on track and everything, so I bet you'll be so back on track when you get back after that trip. I will definitely I feel it. I feel I, it already. I like, think that's been my biggest issue though, too, is that so but everything's all looking up and up and 
that's good, man. I'm 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 glad. I know <laughs> both of us have been kind of, you know, got crap going on, and and it just seemed like when mine was starting to slow down and get back on track, it was like everything was just getting worse, and you you were just like you said. Dude, uh, yeah, every it was like much. literally it was like when it rains it pours, but I was getting like the mega shit storm. Like it's pouring here right now. <laughs> yeah, so it's just been it's just been kind of you know, and it's you know, and and just kind of dealing with frustrations of the show too, and just kind of like trying to figure out like new things to do, better things to do, things that we can you know we want we want people to watch the show. We want people Mm -hmm. to have a good time. We want people to enjoy it. We want, you know, we want to give content and that, that people, you know, are compelled to, to want to watch, you know, stuff like that. We don't want people not, you know, tuning out or we want, you know, we want people sticking around and we, you know, so we've been doing this for three years. Almost. The chicken breads are here. Look at this. Chicken breads. Love y'all. So, yeah, it's just, it's been frustrating too with like, you know, trying to like, you know, kind of restructure the show and come up with new and different things that aren't different. And, you know, cause Aaron and I have been talking on the phone a lot lately too. Like, you know, Hey, what are we doing? I, we I don't know. know. <laughs> let's, let's try something new. All right. What's the new thing? Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> but that's the thing is it's, it's frustrating when, when, you know, you've been doing it for almost every week for almost three years now. And, You know, it's just, it gets to a point where it's like, it gets stale, it gets old. And you can see by the, the, you know, the people that are interacting or not interacting in the show, you know, or how many people are watching or, you know, how many new viewers we're getting here and there. there. I mean, we've, we've got some new stuff that we're going to try out and some things may work and some things may not work and that's okay. As long as we're, we're trying new things and that's, that's what it's all about. So I think. Really, I think it all boils down to everybody's just kind of interneted uh, show kind of. I think they're just out of it. You know what I mean? Like over the past year of COVID, but everybody just lived on their computers and lived on Zooms and all that good stuff. And, and you know, we're just we're just all feeling the effects of that. And I think it'll be all right. Everything will be cool. So once once we start doing live competitions again, I'll be trying to go to many as many as I can. And, and I'll go live at some events and we're we've got some, you know, we've got a big event coming up in uh, June 12th, I believe. And and I'll be there set up and we'll have a table. And I don't know we're Talk of Beards is going to try to get out and, and do new, cool and fun things. So stay tuned for all of that. Yeah, um, I'm. I'm definitely. I'm had it and frustrated with sitting in this chair. Like, well, at I least mean, you got that hot new stormtrooper chair. I've had it, it for a while. Yeah, I never saw the back of it till today. So now it's a stormtrooper chair. Mm-hmm. At least you're not sitting on your little uh, drummer stool anymore. I bet that that makes it. Yeah, see. Is it still shiny from your leather pants? Nope, I cleaned it. That's I think that's one one of the feedbacks that I got was uh, people want you to wear your leather pants more often. So I dude, I can't. They because they fell apart after I wore them that one time. <sighs> You're supposed to wear uh, put leather pants sealer on them and stuff. I think your I don't, sealer your face. I don't know. Sealer. I don't wear leather pants. <laughs> you do um but yeah, yeah I, i'm just i'm I, I overall i'm just generally frustrated with just like a lot of different things in life right now and I, you know it's just i don't know if it's like this coming out of covid thing and you know but I, I, honestly for me like the whole covid situation didn't really bother me it didn't really affect me and in fact i would consider that it was probably one of the best years of my life. Good. Um, See, I mean, you take a positive out of it. I mean, it was, it was pretty crappy for a lot of people, but like you kept working uh, what you were off for what, like two weeks or a week or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we ended up, that's kind of where the network started is because you did that because what you did coffee time with Nico and talking poop came out of it. And we, I think you did like, how many you did a few morning shows you didn't right 
Yeah, I did. I, I, I think I was doing like for, I, well, I think it was off for three weeks, but I did, I was doing three shows a week or something, if not more than that. It was, and, and like I said, that's, that's kind of, kind of where the, the whole network thing started. So, I mean, it was, you know, you know everybody and, had different, different viewpoints of last year and I don't, I, I had a pretty decent year. So I'm, and as did you, but now 21 is kind of starting off pretty crappy. Yeah. So. And, and also like I had every intention of like kind of getting some episodes of the beard caster back up and out. And, and I have plans, I have stuff written down this and that, but it's just, I just, I feel like I get, I get st- like something I have like a focus on something and then something derails that. And then it's like something new comes up and then I try, it's like trying to like balance out the important things and trying to make sure that you're, you're focusing on the important things. And you know, the, the, the podcast part of it is not an important thing. Like, you know, Mm my, my, you know, family's important. My stuff with my kids important. My relationships are important, you know? So you know, those are the things that I need it's to just a put. fun little show. It doesn't need to, yeah. you know, change your whole life to try to make it do something. It's either it's either going to do something or it's not. And life is much more important than this the silly little talk show that we do. So apparently Fawn wants us to do something with assless chaos. Yeah, I don't so know what that is. What about assless chaos? I think it would boot ratings. I mean She's playing some like pun with words or something i i guess i don't know it's, look who, it's, look who's it's here. for bedtime it's already like 8 36 at night so she's, Say, she's probably um, share um, share uh, me Hi, she. <laughs> Good Lord, scott all right um so in the past week or so um i i don't know i've just been going to work we're on a 12 off, 12 on two off schedule right now so I don't know how long that's supposed to last. They said through through the summer. So I worked this last weekend. So that means I'll be off this weekend. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I bet it doesn't last, but we we shall see. Um, I got my car back together this weekend. So that was that was pretty successful. It's been on jack stands for I don't know two months now, and uh, I got all the the new exhaust on, and I got the tune on it, and I actually got another new tune that uh, I can install tomorrow. Technology's crazy. So I've got a tuner in northern Alabama that like so I got a cob access port and I can data log my when I drive it around and I just send him that data log and then he looks at all the stuff and is like, Oh, your car's doing this. Here, put this one on. And he emails me a tune and I go plug it into my car and it it does stuff. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, so my tune that I will be putting on my car tomorrow, I will add, be at 18 PSI of boost instead of 14. And I think it should work better. So my car will be more faster tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all I did. I got my car back together and been hanging out with Natalie. And I mowed one time. I need to mow again. And I worked. That's pretty much been it. I've mowed three times. Wow. Well, that's pretty good. Since when, like ever? To this year. Uh, according to Chris Odom, you can tune a car, but you cannot tune a fish. You cannot tune a fish. That See, that's pff, wise words from the Sir Chris Odom. I don't know. That's that's all I got. I my uh, I did my rant a couple weeks I mean, ago. I can still rant and great. Go ahead. No. We still got... 22 minutes you, know, you, you ran away my friend i know no, i did a whole I, I, 40 minute episode by myself no i mean i i just I, I don't know what else i can really say i mean you know it's i don't know it's just sometimes you get frustrated with everything it's like it just like sometimes it just you know like i said when it rains it's like nothing goes right mm-hmm. everything is just frustrating nothing seems to like like you feel like you get one like good thing going and then it just gets knocked off a little bit. So it's just, I mean, about having a positive attitude, of course, though. I mean, you want to wake up every day. And I mean, at least for me, like I feel like this week so far has been like that. It's been like, all right, the way I'm looking at stuff is 
the shit storm's over. Now's the time to like really just focus and, and get stuff done and, and move on with my life and, you know, get to the goals and stuff like that, that I need to get to. So, so, I mean, I guess that's advice to anyone who's struggling with stuff because I know there's a lot of people out there struggling with stuff. I'm not the only one. And, you know, you always feel like you're the only one dealing with crap. That's exactly how I've been feeling. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just, just try to embrace each day, you know, head on in the morning and positive attitudes. That's huge. Just, you know, absolutely. Just have a positive attitude, uh, wake up, make your bed and get, get moving. So and replace your alternator and don't ever do it again. Yeah. Dave, Dave replaced his alternator. He's a mechanic now and he doesn't want to do it again. So that's it. Uh, everybody stay positive. That's, that's a word of advice from Scott. That could be a t-shirt, Scott Sakura. No one be. has ever said that before. It's easier said than done, though, I can tell you for a fact. Yeah, well, hopefully this, the, all this uh, good things or, you know, potentially good things are, are going to put you going in the right direction. And you have your room back, so that's huge. Yeah, it's been nice. It still smells like, you know, the polyurethane on the floor, but. And Nico has a really difficult, he can't get into the bed because I watched him get on the bed. He just you sent me that video and he was like, Pew! he hopped right up there. He's got it figured out now. Oh, you don't give does. Nico enough credit. I uh, well, except at night when he's tired and he doesn't want to like just jump into bed. I have to like grab him and pull him up into bed. That's smart. He's thinking smarter, not harder. He's like, if I just whine, Scott will put me up here. See, look at this guy. Nico! Hi, Nico! He's sleeping. Wake up, Nico! <laughs> He's sleeping. So, yeah, um, Scott Sakura, I hopefully you're feeling better and, and, you know, things can get going in a positive direction for you again. Hmm. What else we got going on? So, this is... Thumb. You do have a dirty thumb. Uh, so we've we've talked about this this thing that I'm going to bring up about 400 times, and I guess we're going to bring it up again. This is uh, our beard beef of the week. Yeah, this is our beard beef. This is this, I don't know if we're going to do any more beard beefs, but I don't know. It, it's I don't mean any harm to anybody that is involved in this, but some some things are just they frustrate me. So us as a beard community, we're a small niche community. Um, when people step on each other's toes, it doesn't help anyone. And I'm talking about competitions. And I, I, this is something I've talked about before. And all 13 of you are going to listen to me again. This is probably the worst one that I've seen. So get look how this plays out. All right. So I got a little picture here. So we got on June 12th. This is coming up in a couple weeks. We have the Smoky Mountain Beard and Stash Fest. This is in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, this is going to be at the convention center. They, I mean, if you've ever seen the convention center in Gatlinburg, it's really, really nice. They're going to have a runway. They've got TV airplanes. Ads. They're going to be they've, landing airplanes. Yeah, there. they've got a freaking billboard for this thing. Like they're 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 expecting thousands of people. If you if you look into the event page now. Uh, thousands of people might not show up, but that's what they're expecting and that's what they're planning on. So it, it's a big, big deal. They're trying to make it a big deal. And Gatlinburg is freaking awesome. And if you've ever not been to Gatlinburg, you should go. It is worth it. So with that being said, um, the first time I saw anything about this event, Knox Billions was at four beard competition. They said they've been planning it for a whole year. I literally saw it two days ago and I don't, I can't even find an event page about it, but Knoxville is less than an hour from Gatlinburg. And these two competitions are happening at the same time. That makes zero sense. If you're going to put on a competition, do some research before you put on your competition. But with that being said, also this is a bearded villains competition. All right. So think about that. The West coast meet, is a bearded villains major major competition. Think about uh like like a great American or a mob fest or something like that. Like for their group, 
like the villains kind of do their own thing and sometimes they venture off into other competitions, but for the most part, they kind of do their own thing and that's, you know, that's their deal. But why would you put on a competition the same day as basically your nationals? Where does that make any sense? So not only are the villains, the Knoxvillians putting on a competition the same day as one that's an hour from their home. They're also putting on one that is on the other side of the country from their national event. I mean, I've met these, I've, I've met them a couple years ago and they're all super cool dudes and stuff, but like planning y'all like not, not a shot at the villains or anybody, but if you're going to put on a competition, don't like do some research before you do it. Like this just just makes absolutely 100% zero sense. It's not like we're, we've got this community of a hundred thousand people. Like it's like a few thousand, maybe, maybe on a good day that even attends these events. So why would you want to put on an event that has two very, you know, competing things? Like, do you, do you even want it to succeed or are you just doing it to do it? I don't, I just don't understand. But if you're going to do these things, just think smart. Like you, you got a plan. There's 52 weeks in the year. You don't have to put on a competition, three competitions the same day that all step on each other's toes. Like we should all be helping each other as a beer community, not working against each other as a beer community. So if you live in Richmond, Virginia, in the Richmond, Virginia, Bearded Villains and RVA, y'all probably shouldn't put on a competition the same day. Y'all should probably work with each other. So think about that when you're planning a competition. You know, if there's a villain chapter close to you or a sinners chapter close to you or, I don't know, a mob or I think there's like a Bearded Rebellion group that's kind of up and coming. Like, reach out to these people. Like, they're not, you know, they're some of them are more Beard community adjacent, but they're still in the Beard community and they're still maybe going to put on a competition. Just reach out. If you're putting on a competition, maybe they're like, oh, well, you know, I hate to say this again, but RVA, maybe they're like, oh, RVA don't like us or, you know, whatever. Holy City, they don't like us because they're regular Beard clubs or whatever. Reach out to them. Maybe y'all can both put on a competition together and y'all won't step on each other's toes and both of y'all can work together and you can have a villains and a, you know, normal Beard club thing or whatever together. Like they're there's it makes zero sense for us as a community to work at all against each other. Like, well, I think part of what you're kind of trying to say though, is you're, you're, you're lumping everyone together as like the beard community. Where well, I mean, they're doing beard stuff. Like well, why work well, against each other? But my whole point is, is there's like, there's different levels of bearding. Like we, we are part of like a select group of like competitive beard people like mm-hmm. we are like we are like our our whole thing is we put together small groups of people or clubs in cities and our goal is to put on like sa- like sanctioned like like beard competitions which right. you know meaning that they're like as official as they can be and like acknowledged across the country and across the world then you have these other groups, like say, for instance, like the bearded villains or the sinners, or even the. Uh, I don't even know the about Bob a year ago, but they're more like social groups, mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, they have beards and stuff, and that's like something that they have in common. Generally, they are social groups where they get together, they have like meetings, they have get-togethers and stuff like that, and like their whole general thing isn't about beards and stuff. It's usually about charity or something. It's about like fundraising right. doing like get together for doing something for a community. So it's like two different, like two different types of clubs and stuff like that. So I could kind of understand how, you know, if you're, if you don't know what you're looking for, you're not going to find something just like you said, you didn't see that one till two days ago. Right. For all you know, it could have been out there for the past year. That's true. You just, didn't, you just didn't know where to look and you just stumbled upon it that at that last second. So yeah, that's true. Like the, all the villain people in that town probably all know about it, but no one else does. But I would just, I don't know, from my perspective, if I was running any type of competition, I would just want, especially if it's a fundraising thing and you, you're a charity thing, wouldn't you want, more people to know about it to come to the event to give money to charity uh, that's just 
I don't know. That's just the way I would think it. But I, maybe they, they just do things completely different and, and I'm completely, you know. Well, but I'm that's what I'm wrong. saying is you and I or you, are, our group is is we're on that that higher caliber of or not. I'm not. I don't even want to say that. That was the wrong word. We we're in a different level of, like I said, we do beard competitions to raise money. Mm -hmm. They are just social groups that do gatherings to do the same thing, but they don't focus on the beards every now and then they'll do that. So that's what they're doing now. But, um, I don't remember where my point was with that. <laughs> I don't know either. Oh. oh, well, but anyway, so, uh, I wasn't at all trying to take a shot at anybody. I'm just saying, think smarter. If 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 you want people to come to your event, now if you don't give a crap if people come to your event, you nailed it. So good job, and hopefully, now hopefully that, was, that was not very nice. Well, I mean, they only want people in their circle to come to their thing. So don't work with other groups to try to. Make your circle bigger, I guess. I don't, I don't know, but I, we're just trying to, we're trying to be advocates for the whole entire community, be it like our side, their side, other sides. There shouldn't it, be sides. It's all, it's, I, I, I feel I'm not, like it should just be one, no. one thing. Once again, m like misuse of words. I'm, I'm talking about like, like it'd be like a business world. There's different companies. Mm -hmm. Like there's, I mean, saying a side is the wrong thing, but it's just trying to, put your businesses in the same town and get them to work together to do things, you know, but we're trying to be like the chamber of commerce of the community where we're like, you know, Hey, you know, we want all these different groups to come to us so we can, you know, help guide them in the right ways, or we can help promote their events and we can share different things across all the different platforms, all the different groups and people and stuff like that. So we're the chamber of commerce of bearding. I that's I I think that's I like we should, it. We should call that the show now. We'll call yeah, it our show. Talk, this is the last episode of Talking Beards. This is going to be the Chamber of Commerce of Beards. Yeah, nailed it. I don't know, but I don't know. I I probably came off wrong, but whatever. It's it, it's just a a little frustrating when we're such a small, you know, grouping of people that could definitely benefit working with each other instead of against each other. You know, that's just that's just my my mindset. If if I was putting on a competition and I knew there was some sort of beard club somewhat around me, I would at least touch base with them. But I mean, the Smoky Mountain thing, it, it's there's some people in the beard community working on it. And I think it's kind of Gatlinburg City putting it on, which is super cool. And and I think it, it'll be a, a good time. And if anybody is, you know interested you should definitely look into it and there's an event page and we've shared it and all that good stuff and honest amish is going to be very much involved uh, i think uh they're gonna oh yeah breaking news so yeah i should have put that picture on here um oops um so Sorry. i'll share that but Just yeah so it's it's that. gonna be the smoky mountain beard and mustache fest presented by honest amish so and uh i will have a table hopefully i can figure out how to get scott there and we'll see but Honest Amish will have a table and Talking Beards will be at it in some sort of capacity. Uh, we'll have product, we'll have flyers, and I'll have the tablecloth, and maybe we'll have some t-shirts. Who knows? So, yeah, well, I'll make some t-shirts. I'm going to make t-shirts, so I'm going to bring them. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, so this, I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. Four people may show up to the whole event. Who knows? But... I think it's going to be super cool and I love Gatlinburg and it's an excuse to go there. So I'm what going to is, utilize this excuse. What is so great about Gatlinburg? It's just a, so it's like a, basically like a tourist trap in the mountains and it's just got lots of little shops and putt putts and, you know, the muse museums and there's a, uh, oh my gosh, was it an aquarium? Like there's a Ripley's aquarium and then there's all the Ripley's, you know, the, the normal tourist trap, uh, Ripley's things, scooters, you could rent scooters and it's all up in the mountains and it's like super, super, super beautiful. And I don't know, Gatlinburg is super nice. And then you can go down the mountain and then there's another tourist trap called Pigeon Forge. 
and uh, things are more spread out, and there's go kart tracks, and there's the Titanic, and no, I don't know. oh yeah, there's a Titanic place there. The and, Titanic uh, sunk in Gatlinburg, yep, Tennessee. It, yep. No Pigeon Forge. <laughs> I thought it hit an iceberg. They have icebergs there in Pigeon Fork. Yep, right there in Pigeon Fork, Tennessee. And every pancake place in Pigeon Forge has the world's best pancakes. Just read, read the signs, and it is true. They got Dollywood there. Come on, Brett. Freaking Dollywood. Dude, it's awesome. Have you ever been there? I definitely can't go now. Why? You can't be I, around Dolly Parton? No, I can be around Dolly Parton, but I oh. I, I, I I would have to take someone with me there because someone really wants to go really bad there. So oh, we'll see. You got to go and bring them with you. So yeah. yeah, that's, that's going to be happening June 12th. We're, mm-hmm. we're going to talk about that coming up and uh, we'll be there. I'll go live and, and it'll be a, a great and fun time. So yeah. What else is going on? Oh, we got this. This is part of beard news. 65 beards for cystic fibrosis. Uh, yeah, until 15th of May, your purchase from Man Beard will be helping Beard Mob Louisiana support the CF Foundation. So this this uh, will be an online competition. I think that, it, what, the 15th? Yeah, May 15th. Um, look out for, for that. Uh, so we got about a month, a little over a month, and, and you know, haven't really had an online competition in a while, so it's it's going to probably be like a record-setting online competition. So, yeah, if you, you're getting the itch to do an online competition because we haven't had one in a while, there you go. Beard Mob Louisiana online competition. And we might even have a result show that Saturday. Who knows? You do realize that's like n- next week. Is it? Yes. Oh, we're no. in May already. Good yeah, God. You're like a month away April. and I'm going, dude, that's like next weekend. Oh, he froze. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, did he say a month? I'm like, are you back now? Are you done? Am I back? Or am I freezing? No. We both froze. I don't know. I don't know who. I'm not connected to the internet anymore. You're still here. I see you. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm on the Wi-Fi. I'm this talking is to is fairly good. So it says we're live. It's storming, so I don't know if it it messed it up. But anyway, yeah, May fifteenth, couple of weeks away, eleven days. Sorry, Brett. Yep, not a month. We yeah, see, are everyone's calling you out with May. Your yeah, tomfoolery. I'm, I'm dumb. Anyway. You montied. <laughs> you montied. <laughs> my, oh, I did because my internet went out. That's money every episode. And for the podcast people, I was freezing and moving slowly. I was so, too. I don't know. That's that's about it. We uh, that's about it. I don't know. What else you got? You got anything? Nope. That's it. We can wrap it up now because we are at the top of the hour. We got some some beard mail. If you want to do it real quick, yeah, go ahead. That I didn't get any beard mail, so I also didn't get any beard mail. Talking beards, the mail. So yeah, uh, Natalie got this package all the way from England. We'll go through it really, really fast. Ugh. Look at all these stickers. So we got, oh my gosh. Hey, I'm big. So we got all these stickers that they made. What's the best we, one you got? Oh my gosh. The best one. That one. It's me. You're very then, pale. I am. Mm-hmm. And then the next one is Natalie. But there's an Andy in here. There's a Lee BMG in here. There's all kinds of all the the super important British beard and mustache championship people are in here. But yeah, so this was super cool. She like they just packed this box full of stuff. Um, she got a shirt. She got a little little thing we're going to get a frame for. But yeah, Natalie D. Johnston, the 2020 beard and mustache championship best in show winner little box look at this little wood box got her picture in there got her name look at that that's freaking awesome they have technology overseas so So they have technology we don't have like we don't have laser engravers like they do over there 
But look at this thing. It's super cool. But yeah, congratulations, Natalie D. Johnston, on winning Best in Show in the British Beard and Mustache Championships for 2020. Oh, but Way yeah. Throw it and break it. <laughs> I did. I threw it. But that was all the beard. Oh, that was all the beard mail we got. It was just for Natalie. And then Natalie just got uh, a ridiculous amount of stuff. There's a giant baby Yoda and there's a giant uh, Wookiee plush. A what? A Wookiee. It's a Chewbacca pillow, but it's like a squashable. Squash mellow pillow. But that thing was huge. I don't know, man. People have been super, super, super cool and sending her lots of fun stuff, and she's really enjoying it. So if anybody wants to send her any more fun stuff, hit me up and I'll give you our address. So that's it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, yeah. Didn't have a, a record-setting amount of people, but I feel like this show went really well. And we're going to keep keep working on it. And like I said, if anybody has any feedback at all for the show or any ideas for segments, if you want to see Scott eat some hot peppers or something, I mean, that could be a segment. Never going to happen. He loves that idea. So, I don't know. Thank you, everybody, for uh, <laughs> tuning in. Yes, a Wookiee Squish Mellow. Uh, I am Aaron D. Johnston. You can find me on all the social medias at Aaron D. Johnston or, uh, I don't know, TikTok at Talking Beards. I literally haven't posted on there in like three months, but maybe I'll do it again. I don't know. I, I got back on Instagram. Yeah, but was there a card that smelled like fart? Yes, Tyler Hill. But I opened it. I, I don't even know. Last I episode. I opened it last episode, and I think it's still in the car. <laughs> I don't know where it is. But yeah, thank you everybody. I I greatly appreciate you tuning in. Everybody, go over to YouTube, follow that page, and we'll see if we can get it to grow. And that is the new home of Talking Beards, the network. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, and if you want to find out anything else about Talking Beards, you can go over to talkingbeards.com. Like I said at the beginning of the show, you can watch the show live over there. But if you want to interact in the chat room, you can go over to Facebook, find us over on Facebook. Uh, you can follow us over there. You can interact with the show. If you guys are interested in any kind of Talking Beards merch, we have a ton of it. Talkingbeards.com. Just click on the merch. It'll take you right there. And if you want to check out any of the old episodes, they're right there also at Talkingbeards.com. Thank you guys for uh, putting up with us. Thank you for putting up with me and my piss poor attitude. There we go. Krabby Scott. <laughs> well, we uh, love you, Scott. and and everybody's pulling for you to get back on track and I'm, I'm sure you will. If I can do it, you can do it. Don't forget. And may the fourth be with you and go watch the bad batch on Disney plus tonight. May the fourth be with you. And also with you. And also with you. Go watch ba- baby Yoda and BB eight. Yes. The baby Yoda and BB eight show. And next week we'll have another update of Natalie. The Natalie update. That's going to be the hot new segment. Everybody's going to be waiting Tune for. So for. share this episode. Everybody have a great night and uh, hug one another and be positive. Yes. Be positive. Be positive and make your bed kids. Make your, bed. make your bed. Do dishes. That's what Wicked said. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the talking beards podcast. You can find out more information by going to TalkingBeards.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast, make a donation to our show, or pick up some really cool Talking Beards merchandise. We hope to see you in the chat room. You can find us over at Facebook.com slash Talking Beards if you want to participate in our chat. Thank you again for checking the show out, and we hope you have a great week. Make sure you come back next week at 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening to watch the show live. Until next time, thanks.